What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Project Smart video. Uh, it's been a while, I know I posted a video, but I have the internet installed in the house, so I'm gonna continue our light switch kind of preview as now our light switches work with Alexa. I should probably warn you on this video, you're gonna hear a lot of Alexa. So if you do have an Alexa, I'm gonna probably mute my voice, so to help you guys out. So again, been busy, this house, these permits with this town, it's just another whole headache, but uh, finally got uh, Fios installed into this house, so we're doing gigabit internet. We're gonna again go through a lot of stuff with the house and all that. We do have our ubiquity Wi-Fi setup in this house. Again, I did go all out with this, so that's a whole nother video, but we do have internet in the house. So now basically um, all the switches that you saw they all now work together with Alexa. That was the biggest thing, I just activated her. That was the biggest thing and the biggest concern I had was to make sure that my light switches all worked with Alexa. Now there is like the whole Google thing, which we're gonna go into later on. Again, totally project smart. I do have a Google Home here. We do have Alexa going on here. I'll explain why I have the Google Home, but in all honesty, she's the best. I personally favor Alexa over the Google. I haven't played too much with the Google Home, but uh, I'd rather just keep it simple with Alexa. So now what's awesome about this, again, Project Smart, my main goal was to have a lot of stuff work, mostly on the phone. So luckily with the Sonoffs, again, my Sonoffs are the T1 series. They did make a newer one. I have the original ones. They're basically identical. It's just kind of a different faceplate to it. Again, the objective is about maybe 90% of all light switches are gonna be smart switches. All the BS little ones, I'm not doing smart switches. I'll take you around like the garage area. One switch is not a smart switch. But again, one of the biggest, 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 biggest things is that I wanted my house to be smart. I want to verbally turn on lights, turn off lights, turn on appliances. That's what I wanted to do, but not just verbally, but also on the phone. So what's really cool, especially with the Sonoffs, is depending on how many gangs you get, like for example, our kitchen has a three gang light. Real quick, let's take a look at what like the light switch looks like with it on and powered on. So again, this is the T1 series, so the Wi-Fi light is on. You visually see that. I believe the newer one, there is no Wi-Fi signal. I'm, I don't really care. It kind of acts like a little bit of a night light if you think about it, and I could visually see our switch. So this is what it looks like with the lights on. If you turn off the lights, that's what it looks like off. So again, it is kind of a dim kind of hue. I don't mind it. We're gonna turn on our lights. And again, what I love about this is that it is three gangs. There are three switches. So if you follow me like on Instagram on the stories, some people saw me playing with the lights with Alexa. So for example, I'm gonna set her off real quick. Oh, I should probably warn you. On this video, you're gonna hear Alexa. So I'm gonna show you what a lot of people saw on the story, which got them a little bit concerned, but check this out. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. So as you can see, all three lights went out. She's gonna say thank you. Okay. Or okay, I should say. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. So, She's gonna say okay. Okay. So again, some people saw my Instagram story and they're like, oh man, it turned off all your switches. No, it didn't. That light switch is inside the Amazon app and it is set to a group called Kitchen. So it's a very simple thing. I could verbally tell it. I basically told her to turn off the group. So again, on my app, which again, Project Smart, I want it on the app. I love their interface. It's very simple, it's very neat, very bright, bold, I could see everything. So basically, I turned off that whole group. Again, what's great about the app, I can literally just press the off button and the whole group turns off. I could turn it on. Oop, new note 10. I hit the side edges. I can literally turn it on. See, everything was there. So again, that's in the group. Within the group though, each 
switch that you saw me press earlier is named a specific action. So for example, Alexa, turn off the kitchen island. Okay. Two out of the three lights are still on. So that's what some people got confused about. So that's why I love the sewn off. Three gang, three switches. I am able to name each individual switch. She recognizes the name. It sets a whole different world up. So for example, I have this set up as the fridge and I have this actually set up as the kitchen. I have to rename it because I'm waiting for my wife to tell me what she wants to do. But basically I want to turn that fridge light off. Alexa, turn off the fridge light. Okay. That series went out. Again, sewn off switch. That's the biggest thing. I have one gang, which means one switch. I have two gangs, which is two switches. And in the kitchen, that's the three gang switch. So I love it. I think it's amazing. I could have her turn off all the groups, everything. I also, at the end of the video, I'll show you what I set her up to do, which is to turn off all the freaking lights in this place. I love it. So essentially also keep in mind that you do need her around. What does that mean for me? I literally have, and I bought it on sale. Once I saw the sale for dots, Echo Dots, I bought a ton of them. I have like eight or nine Echo Dots alone, and I have three of like the bigger series. Every room essentially is gonna get a dot. Another part of Project Smart is that every room will be its own smart speaker, meaning that will have in-house intercom use, also for you to play music, so it could be music throughout the entire house and all that. Again, Project Smart. Alexa, turn on the den lights. Okay. So these are our den lights right here. This is considered den entertainment area. Somebody's texting me. For these lights here, my wife, here and inside our living room, my wife had a very specific request. She wanted dimmer switches. She wanted in this room, because we're gonna watch TV here, movies, again, we have a whole big plan as far as entertainment-wise there. So she wants these lights to be dimmed. What did that mean? Sonoff does not have dimmers. That Sonoff switch that you saw is not dimmable. I had to now go on Amazon and resort to a different type of switch, which are the dimmer switches. You did see it in the previous video. Um, really cool, pretty nice switches, very nice. I like how it's touch sensitive, on and off button, you know, it's really easy. Um, only thing about that is that one dimmer, like it's too bulky. You saw my three gang sewn off, this is now a three gang dimmer. I mean, you can't really complain about it because it's three separate dimmers, but something to think about. But again, when you do your research, as far as for me, I needed her, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reference her, Instead of you guys, you know, if you have Alexis, they're gonna go off, but I'm gonna reference as her. I needed her to walk, work with all the switches, okay? I'm not planning to use that Google Assistant at all. I'll tell you what that's for in another video. She, her, is the main person that's gonna control this house. So what's great about these switches, I forgot what it was called, Trust something, Trust Wave, Treat House, I think it was Treat, I don't know. I bought them on Amazon. Those switches, I believe they cost me about maybe 28 to $30 per switch which was pretty expensive compared to the Sonoffs that I paid. So, I mean, again, it does give you the dimmer uh, effect to it. But basically the biggest thing right now is that we do have, again, our LED lighting. We're gonna go into the lighting later on, but LED lighting all around it. And basically I could tell her to dim it to a certain percentage. This right now is set to 100. Alexa, dim the den lights to 1%. Okay. That's 1%. I don't know how it comes out in the vid in the camera, but it's pretty dim in, in here. So we could actually enjoy a movie or two. We could turn off the lights. Same thing, there's three bays in this. Um, I don't really remember, that's the hard thing. I don't really remember what I set her to do. Um, I think that was sliding door. Alexa, turn off the sliding door light. Okay. That was sliding door. I think that was TVs. Alexa, turn off the TV light. No, that's not it. She's gonna be like, what? Alexa, turn off the TV light. Nope, she's not getting it. I'm saying, it's not that she's not getting it. I don't know why she said okay, but I'm definitely saying the wrong thing. 
See, I have my den. I'll go into the app, den TV lights. Alexa, turn off the den TV lights. Okay. There you go. So again, everything on the app. So I have to use the word den because there are essentially going to be more TVs, TV lights, so all that. So now we have one switch, which is pretty, it's, it's pretty dim in here. Then we could tell her to turn them all off. Alexa, turn off the den lights. Okay. Boom. That's it. We got the kitchen on. That's it. The den with the dimmers. Perfect. Now the one thing that's came in mind that kind of stunk and I'll be honest. Let me turn these on. Alexa. Turn on the living room lights. Okay. I'll be honest, I had to yell because she's behind the wall. So again, the objective is that there's going to be an Alexa here, here, almost everywhere. There's going to be an Alexa. So I lost my train of thought. So the one kind of thing that kind of stunk and I didn't realize it, but I thought that these switches could work off of like the Wi-Fi access point without actual internet. So when it came to the Sonoffs, when it came to me like registering it, like I thought maybe I didn't need to get the internet involved. So what I wound up doing was I put the Sonoffs like you saw in the last video, and then I tried to program it. I would try to link it to my Ubiquiti hub, which it would link, but there was no internet to it. Basically, each switch you get, you have to link it to, um, it's got to register to the app. What does that mean? You need internet access. It basically goes into the eWe link. Same for all switches apparently. You do need internet because it does have to be registered. I didn't know that, now I do. So now again, now that the internet's in, now the first thing was I programmed all the switches, named them all and everything. In this room here, living room room, this is like where the entrance is. Plans are like Christmas tree goes there. You got the fireplace. We're gonna put a TV up on that wall, which another secret. That's gonna turn into a picture frame TV. It's nuts, we're going crazy. But in this one again for the wife, we did another three of the dimmers on this. Same thing again, we could do it by each individual one. Um, these are dimmable, this is 100%. Alexa, dim living room lights to 1%. Okay. That's 1% on that. So all of them turn to 1%. Again, group name, living room each living room thing has its own name so for example i do have a fireplace one alexa turn off the fireplace okay essentially though, i'm gonna have to change that because there's a lot of stuff it might actually mean the actual physical fireplace so again i would have to put like living room fireplace light you know what i mean that's why you have to be very careful when you pick your names to these things again a lot of stuff we have a very like this is like kind of set up right now, but I have my dining room here. Alexa, turn on the dining room light. Okay. Boom. So for this one here, we do have a one gang sewn off. Again, just to show you what it looks like off. You do see the Wi-Fi light. Again, I do have, I'm not pressing it. I do have this first series, okay? Again, she is programmed for almost, she will be programmed for every room. But basically, down here we have the mud room. Alexa, turn on the mud room light. Okay. It's, it's just so beautiful, you don't understand. It's, it's gorgeous. When it all comes together, that's the best part. We also have the garage one. So, I'm too far for her to hear me. That is the garage one. But to give you an example of like one that we wouldn't make a smart switch, Basically, again, my last video you saw, we're gonna do workbench here. I'm not gonna put a smart switch here. It's not worth putting a smart switch. Um, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but for right now, I'm not gonna put a smart switch there. It's just, it's not worth it. My last little bit of info when it comes to the smart switches, I highly suggest you are consistent on the switches that you pick. What do I mean by that? Basically, each switch you get, each brand, I should say, is going to have their own devoted app. The Sonoff switch uses an eWe Link app. Basically, it goes from this app. This is the first thing you have to load up when you do your Sonoffs. Looks like I need some upgrades. This is what the eWe Link looks like. Basically, again, you set it all up. This would be like if I didn't have her app it would have looked like this. So again, I would still be able to control everything 
as you can see, it's just with this app, I can't name each individual channel. So basically, you start with an app, the brand app. Again, Sonoff uses eWe Link. From eWe Link, you go to Amazon app and you go to their um, skills and you now have to make sure that that app, the eWe Link app, is able to link to her. So keep that in mind. You do want to search, if you are looking for switches, you do want to search switches that work with her. Um, best thing, and it's free and easy, download the app, her app, and then go into the skills and see what you got. So luckily the eWe Link app works flawlessly. Uh, when you do sync it to her app, it just notices it as channel one, two, and three, but then you go into her app and rename the switch. Hence how I got fridge light, kitchen light, and the um, kitchen island light. The other one, which is the dimmer switch, is a separate app. I don't remember what app that is. That was Smart Life. That app is Smart Life. And I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this app. I'm not a fan of this, whatever you want to call it. Basically now, these are for the dimmers. I need to use this app. Again, same thing, you gotta go into her app and make sure that Smart Life, the app that needs to work with the dimmers, is able to sync and recognize her, okay? So keep that in mind. In here, in this app, you do name it. What's really cool about this is like, on this app, and I believe in, in her app, I'm gonna double check it. Uh, yeah, her app, at least with the dimmers, I'm gonna turn on, for example, we're gonna turn on I don't know, sliding door. We're gonna turn all these on. So all the lights are on and I'm able to work with the brightness. So we could bring up the brightness on all this. I did the windows just now. Let's do the TV lights. So it does work within the app and then also on her app, again, we go into her app. We have here, if you press into it, you do have your brightness here. Again, as you can see, a little bit more cleaner on the Alexa app, so I do like that. Alexa, turn on the foyer light. For example, again, another thing that we have for like outside, I have a three gang switch outside. Basically, I have my big soffit lights, which is on a timer, which is another amazing feature for smart switches, is that they do have built-in timers, countdowns, and vacation modes. As far as the eWe Link app, I think it's the best one. Um, I don't remember if I did a timer within her app. Let me see. I don't know if the timer has to be within her app or the eWe Link app. Let me just double check. I should have checked that before. Basically, I have my foyer lights, which are the outside lights, set to turn on. Let's see. No. I have that set. Let me see. Okay, I have the timer set within the eWe Link app, which I think was a lot more easier. So basically, if inside the app on the eWe Link, basically I could pick a channel and I actually have a schedule set, yes. So I literally have my channel three, it turns off at 12.30 a.m., it turns on at 7.30 p.m. So within this app, you can see there, you do have a schedule and you do have timers. So I like that biggest plus on that. So instead of me buying an external timer, that right there has a timer built into it. And so far it's been flawless. I love it. The one thing I'm gonna do in another video, but just real quick, Alexa, turn off the living room lights. That's that, perfect. So the one thing that I got hit and I didn't realize it and I got kind of upset, I bought this door kind of sensor. The plan was basically that when you open up this door, I wanted this light to turn on and this light, which essentially is gonna be a chandelier. Quick backstory, these lights are connected to Sonoffs. This switch works with her, but it doesn't work with the Sonoff. So it doesn't really work with her, I should say. People suggest that you have to make a routine, which is something that she does to kind of turn something on. It's the IFTT, if this, then that. So basically, if this door sensor opens, then this light will turn on, IFTT, that's what it is. From what I understood, it should have worked with my Sonoffs. For some reason, 
this door sensor and I don't know again we do another video but this door sensor does not work as far as her app talking to my sewn off switches the thing that was really shocking to me was to link that or to kind of register that door sensor I needed the smart life app the same app with the dimmers so basically whatever's inside the smart life app would be controllable with this door sensor that was already red flag because this is not the sewn off app tough luck so now get this i'm gonna probably return it from amazon to amazon whatever it is i'm not a fan of it what i did now is that basically when this opens and we're gonna do it together because this works with the smart life app i'm able to turn these lights on automatically which again are the dimmer ones can't do the sewn off ones which kind of upset me but also the delay on this is kind of bad i don't really like it so basically these are active it is active if i open this i hope i have it set i do i also got a notification on my phone basically these are pretty good to be set for an alarm system i have an okay i have a notification that says the front door was open so I mean, I get it, it's fine. If I turn off the foyer lights and let's say we're coming home, luckily this works. We have enough light, we could put our jackets away in here, so it does work. I only really needed that door sensor in two or three doors. Number one was the front door, so seeing it now at night, it works. I got lucky that the dimmer switches work. The second one would be on this sliding door which is why, again, I don't know if I'm gonna return it, but the sliding door would turn on the den lights, which it's in the Smart Life app, that works. That sensor will not work for my last and main important one, which is going to be this room, the mud room. Basically, if I came home from the garage, the plan was I open up this door and the mud room would turn on. But this room is with the sewn off kind of this is the only thing that kind of sucks when it comes to switches um you need like a three-way or whatever it is if i enter through here i have to walk all the way across to turn on that light switch i don't mind it because for me i'll be on my phone i could just turn it on for my phone that's the only one kicker the only last thing that i could hope for is that the sensor can possibly turn on a um an outlet which I do have a couple external outlets that I got from Walmart on a big sale. So hopefully I could put a lamp to it on the floor and that will work. Other than that, the door sensors, again, again, I got it in a two pack, it's fine. There you guys have it. Sewn off switches, smart life switches. Let me show you, I almost forgot, but this is the best part. We're inside living room, dining room, den, kitchen right you can kind of see the kitchen light there right check this out best part alexa turn off all the lights that is it alexa okay. turn on all the lights it's it's so beautiful just everything turns on everything turns off that is all dedicated to the groups inside of her app. See you guys in the next one.